Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Anna Chris, and the sales department at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind us, we're gonna have a 2022 Honda CRV EXL. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you guys all the cool standard features and functions, so when you arrive at your local Honda dealership, you know exactly what this has to save you time before you take it out for a test drive. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions. If you guys are here in the market, here's my number. Give me a call, I'll show you how easy it is to join the Crazy Honda Crest family at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Now let's go get you guys all the information to make that well-formed decision now. All right, so here we are right outside the 2022 Honda CRV EXL. Let's walk up here to the Roni sticker as usual, folks. You're welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore on your own. Now up on the top right hand corner is going to talk about your fuel economy. You got 27 for the city, 32 for the highway with a combined of 29. Down on the right hand corner is going to talk about your safety rating. So there we are. Then we'll just scoot right over here. It's a U.S. made product. The price point and then the list of standard features which we're going to try to cover today for you. This particular one's going to be an all-wheel drive. Is it also available in a two-wheel or an all-wheel drive? This color is going to be a platinum white pearl. I put down some additional color options over here on the left-hand side with additional color charge if there is applied to that, all right? Now, remote start comes standard. Use remote start. All you have to do is hit lock. Hold this button down here for a few seconds. You'll see the lights here flash. It's going to start right up. It's going to heat and cool the vehicle. Runs at 10 minute volts, and the doors will remain locked. You can simply turn that off by holding this button down and then boom, everything's off, okay? You can have all of your Honda sensing features standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, your forward collision and road departure standard right here. We're also going to have a 1.5 turbo with a CVT transmission. I'm going to throw horsepower and torque right up there so we know what we're playing around with. We're going to have LED fog lights down below. A little bit of chrome action going on within the grill. You're also going to have LED daytime running lights that comes around right over here. And then your turning indicator is going to be right up here as the lights are flashing as I'm hitting the lock button. Take a little step back further so you can see the grill, a little bit more what's going on. A little step right over here to these nice alloy rims. Step back for a side profile. We've got a lot of chrome action going around the windows here, all the way around. You got rear tinted windows body colored handles and a body colored heated side mirror with a turning indicator. As we get a little closer here, you can see the turning indicator. There's gonna be a breakaway side mirror. So if you need to fold these in, you can. You use a little bit of force, it's nice and easy. And then it locks right back in place. So as you can see, as I'm shaking it, it's not moving. All right, as we step over here towards the side, once again, we're gonna have smart entry. So if you have a key fob here with you, I have it, it's in my purse, my jacket, my pocket, wherever the case is. I have the car all locked up, put my hand in the handle, it unlocks. The key fob has to be so close to the car. I can also keep the key fob in my purse, my jacket, my book bag, whatever. Put my thumb down on these ridges. There we go. It beeped. It locked so I can walk away with confidence knowing that my CRV is locked. Now you can also just enable your walkaway auto lock feature. So if, once again, no key fobs left in the car. You walk away. Since the key fob's not in the car, it will automatically lock all the doors for you. So that's kind of nice. Those days of accidentally, you know, Whoops, dropped my key fob, fell in my pocket, or left my jacket in there. Whatever the case is, hit the lock button, walk away. It senses that you accidentally try to lock your keys in the car. Only way I can do that, let's say if I leave my key fob in there, my jacket, my wife has hers, she hits the lock button, then boom, it's registering that I'm purposely locking the key in that car, okay? So that's pretty nice. We'll pop, we have this here. Some additional safety I want to point out with you guys is going to be the blind spot information system. So as we're driving down the road, there's a car over here in our blind spot. That's going to light up to let you know. Now, we're driving down. We have our turning indicator on. While someone's in our blind spot, it's going to beep at you to alert you saying, hey, watch out. Someone's over there. So little beep noises, all right? We'll step here towards the back. You got nice smoked red taillights. A little bit of chrome action going on. Once again, badge of honor for all-wheel drive so that you're going to know it's an all-wheel drive. We're gonna have a powered lift gate. You can do it right here on the key fob if you like, or you can do it right up there on the release on the tailgate. As this opens right up, I'm gonna throw some cargo volume space up there so you know what we're playing around with once again. Just make sure you have enough room for all of your ventures, all right? Now as we get right in here and focus, you have a nice privacy blind. 
keep your supplies out of the sun, have people mind their own business. This is going to be spring loaded, so that's not a problem. Simply, there we go, comes right out, okay? Nice little courtesy lights here on both sides. You got these nice handles here to bring your seats down. You need a little more cargo space, challenge accepted. There we go, then it comes down. Now this whole platform is adjustable. Carpet mats come standard, by the way, okay? This whole thing can be adjustable. So let's just throw that right up there. Do this one-handed, boom. Comes out nice and flat for you, okay? We're gonna have a spare tire down below. Insulation just makes it for quite a ride for your passengers back here. Tools you may need for those unforeseen events like emergency gas can, you get your jack. All right here. All right, let's see what it looks like again with the seats up. There we go. Seats are right back up. So there we are. Now we're also gonna have a height adjustable tailgate, okay? So let's say we uh, bring it down a little bit because you know, I got a little branch or something in the way or I can't reach it. Just bring it down, click and hold, double beep. Now it's gonna open and close to that setting every single time, all right? So I'm gonna bring this up just in case we get someone tall again like myself, double beep, and close. Now right up here, guys, I'm gonna have a link to my tips and tricks for the Honda CRV. It's gonna apply to this particular vehicle as well. Now let's come over here towards the back of the vehicle or the rear seat. Let's open this up. Got a nice little wood trim that's gonna continue up front for the interior. Nice leather. If you get with the EXL, if you guys are guessing leather interior, you are correct. That's what the L is for. Now we have leather interior. Armrests. Cup holders. We have all season mats in here, but it doesn't come standard with all season mats. So just letting you guys know, when you're at your local dealership, they may not have that in there, but you can purchase those. It's not a problem. You're gonna have your adjustable vents. You're gonna have a 2.5 fast charge right here. So you gotta keep that technology well charged. A courtesy pocket right over there just for additional space, cargo. Now your third seat belt is gonna be right over here. All right, as we step here towards out of the vehicle, I'm gonna throw some interior measurements right up there so you know what kind of space you're working with for your friends, pets, cargo, and whoever else is brave enough to tag along with you guys. What I like about the CRVs is how wide this door opens. It makes it so much easier for anyone to get in and out of. Love it. Now let's get up here up front. All right, as we open this right up, you guys can see the nice wood trim going on right over here. You can have two seat memory that saves the position of your driver's seat. You got your windows, power locks, mirror selectors right here to adjust. And then from there, then the window lock button, just in case anyone misbehaves. Now right down over here, you got some additional cubby space. You're gonna have power seating. So you know, you got your forward, you got your back, you got the tilt half here on the front half. Boom, boom. Raise and lower, recline, then your lumbar support. You can save the position of all this stuff with your two seat memory, okay? Now we'll come right over here and get your gas release as we pull that right towards you. You're gonna see that there's gonna be a capless gas tank, no longer a $2 cap to argue and debate with. It's a simple slide and go. Don't worry about replacing that $2 cap ever again. Now from right here, you got your hood release. So let's go check that out right now. All right, so here we are. Let's step right in. As you guys already know, it's gonna be a 1.5 turbo with the CVT. You already know the horsepower and torque. We talk about that, but let's do the courtesy for those that maybe do some basic maintenance themselves, all right? So you get the washer fluid right here. It's a nice blue cap. Coolant, it's gonna be right here. Be careful as you mess with that, it may be hot. Now right over here is gonna be a nice dipstick to check your oil. You're gonna have your battery connection, everything right over here. Fuse box, and then your brake fluid, okay? Now, if you guys have any additional questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'm sure the community will help us answer those questions for you guys. Just give you guys a nice little visual seeing how much room is right in here for you guys. If you want to do any kind of customizations or anything that you need to do or work on the vehicle. All right, let's get back right up front here. All right, so here we are right back up front. Let's dive right in the driver's seat right now. Make sure you got the key fob with you. Put your foot down on the brake and hit the start button. 
Your steering wheel release is all the way down there. Pull that out. It's going to be a telescope, so it goes in, out, up, and down. Go to just as you guys see fit. Then push it right back in. Lock that right back in place. Right over here on the left-hand side, we got some additional buttons. You got your road departure, power tailgate. You can't accidentally tap. You have to click and hold that for a moment. Then you got your forward collision. Then you got your vehicle stability assist right there. Let's make sure I get the climate looking good for me. A little cold this morning. Perfect. Now right over here on the steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. You're gonna have all of your behind sensing features over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You can see when they're available by selecting the main button and then you're gonna see the green writing right up there, okay? So you got ACCs for your adaptive cruise control. Then you have your lane keep assist system. If you don't see that for any particular reason, once again, just hit the main button. You'll see it come and go, all right? Cruise control, set the speed for your cruise control if you like. The adapted cruise control is right here. As you're selecting that, you can see this coming up on the driver's interface. We're changing the distance between you and the car in front of you, okay? So more lines means further, less lines means closer distance. Once it finds a car in front of you, it will beep. You can turn that beep on and off to let you know, hey, I'm slowing down from you know 73 to uh, 70 miles an hour because I found a car. Now, we'll also give you a visual, just like this button shows, we'll have a visual right up there of a white car above those lines, all right? Now this is gonna be for your lane keep assist for your highway driving between 45 and 90 miles an hour. Now once it's going the proper speed and we find lines on the road, those lines right there would be filled in dotted white lines for a visual confirmation that hey, it's on. Now you go out of your lane a little bit, it's gonna beep, beep, beep at you as it brings you back. You may turn off that beep, beep, beep. Then you also can change the sensitivity on recentering you or you can have it on just giving you a warning and you have to take action yourself, all right? You got your wipers right over here, adjustable and mitten. You got your rear wipers right over there. Lights, auto lights, then you got your fog lights right here. We'll come right over here on the left hand side now. You got hands free for your phone, you can pick up, you can hang up, you can back out the menu right up there, voice command, hey call Crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone, gives me a call, answer you guys' questions. Right over here you got your volume controls and then your navigation through right up there. I'll show you guys that here in a second. All right, let's dive right into the driver's interface screen. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of these D-pads to navigate right up there, quietly. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments, all right? All right, let's navigate a little bit through the driver's interface here quick. You got this little button right over here. Push that right in, it allows you to see trip A, trip B, and back to your miles. You got your gas tank right over here. I just put $20 right now into this. Um, so you can see what $20 get you now, just a little bit over three bucks a gallon. You got your tech, tech on right up top. You got this nice white light up here. It's gonna be a fuel efficiency backlight. It's a visual coaching for your fuel efficiency. So let's say you're being fuel efficient, it goes from white to green, then green to white when you're not. Okay, so it's a visual coach, it's kind of nice. You got your speeder meter right up here. We can see it on park from that point. And then you get your time down below, miles, and then the outside temperature, 52 degrees. Doesn't feel like it on this really windy day. Then you got your vehicle temp right over here. All right, we'll come right over here towards the touch screen. We're gonna select Audio here first, source. So you guys can see we got FM, AM, satellite radio, XM. It's a paid subscription, but you get three months of that for free. You have a USB. As you guys are gonna notice, we're not gonna have a CD player, but hey, download your stuff onto a flash drive, then it's a plug and play from there, okay? Just right down over here, plug it in, and then it saves you so much clutter. You have an iPod, Bluetooth, Pandora, then you have your smartphone connection. Now with your smartphone connection, you simply, you know, plug and play. So plug your uh, charging cable into your phone, plug it in right down over here, the USB with the picture of the phone. So Apple is just a plug and play. Android phones allow the Android permissions as Android Auto, then it's a plug and play from there. It takes like your Apple Maps, Google Maps, other compatible apps, 
throw it right up there, plays through the speakers while charging your device, all right? You can have your phone, you can pair up multiple phones. You can set which one's gonna be a priority. You got your info. You can choose what kind of information you wanna see right up here. You got your settings. So you can do all your vehicle settings, customize from the doors locked, the Honda sensing stuff. You can adjust the clock. Pretty much all this stuff's pretty nice and easy. Once you guys get in here, start planning around, you see exactly where everything's available. You got your Honda Link app. And then you also have your smartphone connection right over here, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We have some additional buttons here off to the side. You got your audio, phone, back button. You also have a way to adjust the brightness. So if this bugs you between your day and nighttime driving, not a problem. Just tap this here, and then you can adjust the brightness. If that's a little, still too much, just double tap, then boom, it's off. Turn it right back on, then there we go. We'll come down right over here towards your climate controls. This is gonna be a dual climate. So passengers right up there, drivers right over here. I can sync everything. I got my fan speed, it shows right up there. So I'm playing around with this. As you select climate, it allows you to select your different modes. Pretty nice and responsive screen. We'll come right down here again. You got on and off air circulation. Front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors. And then from that point, we're going to have heated seats. Three tier. You got a high, medium, and low. Idle stop is standard with this vehicle. Okay. So if any particular reason you don't like it, I know I have mixed feelings right now, but simply click and hold that. You can see it's off. All right. By the orange A right there on the top left hand corner. I select that again, and there we go. Idle stop pretty much is going to make you more fuel efficient. Um, fuel efficient for your city driving. So I'm just throwing that out there. Every time you get to a complete stop, it partially shuts off your engine from there, all right? Econ mode. As you select the econ button, you get this beautiful green leaf right up there to let you know it's on. Econ is gonna make you more fuel efficient for your highway driving. It's gonna be sacrificing acceleration power, electrical power up front, and then AC power, okay? So keep that in mind as on those really hot summer days, you're out there just cruising down the road. Do you wanna be fuel efficient or do you wanna be comfortable, okay? You have electrical parking brake, whole brake right over here. And then as you see, we got a couple different gears. Obviously you guys know about park, you got your reverse. As you put it into reverse, your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays right up there. Now these buttons down here below is gonna show you how the camera is gonna act, okay? So you have a nice wide view, a right behind you view, straight down shot from your rear bumper view. And then from there, as you turn your wheel, guess what? Boom, changes colors, guides you, changes colors to let you know your tires are not aligned, now we're nice and aligned. This button over here is on and off for your cross traffic monitoring system. So let's say a car is coming from the side, it's gonna sense it and then it's gonna beep at you, then point which way it's coming from. We're gonna have a neutral drive. Then we have a sport drive. It's gonna change up a little bit of your gear ratio for fun driving, then a low gear drive for the steep hills and mountains. Now, as we come right back down here to these nice USBs, the glow in the dark. So at nighttime, you don't have to guess where they're at. You know exactly, and that makes it quick. Nice little tray, cup holders, armrest is gonna be adjustable. Oops, two different spots. You can pull that right up. This whole tray thing folds right up. So now I have so much room, you know, maybe my wife's purse can go in there, maybe my snacks, my tablet, kids' device if they're misbehaving. You have a nice 12 volt plug-in right down here. Let's take a moment, look at the dashboard for you guys. You can see where your vents are. Glove box. Challenge accepted, fill it up, forget about whatever's in there because it goes to a whole new dimension. Just kidding, it doesn't. We have a lockable glove box right here. Auto dimming rear view mirror. A one touch power moonroof. Opens, closed, tilts, like everything like a power moonroof should be doing. This is gonna be for your dome lights, off. I have them on, put it in the center. So every time I open up a door, these open up. Then you have your home link for your garage door opener unit. Place for the sunglasses, then a little condensation mirror. So I'd be like, hey, watching you kids, or cargo, pets. Hey guys, 
guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful to answer all of you guys' questions. But once again, if I missed something or you guys have any other questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys, all right? If you guys are in the market, you know where I'm at, right here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Just ask for me, Crazy Honda Chris. Thanks again, guys, for your support. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.